Jody Serini's seven year old son Derek is a first grader here at Garrity Elementary School. But if a proposed plan is approved by the Cleveland Heights University Heights School Board, Derek and the other 320 students will learn their lessons elsewhere. A plan that will be presented to the community next week calls for three elementary schools to be closed two in Cleveland Heights and Garrity Elementary, the one and only public elementary school in University Heights. This school is actually increasing in its enrollment. A week before school started, we had to add a third kindergarten. And this, in a district that's over capacity, I find it strange that they would want to close the school that actually is increasing its enrollment. Susan Infeld is the mayor of University Heights, and she says if the school were to close, it affects more than kids and their parents. It would affect the entire community. This is our only school, uh, and I'm very concerned about people looking at our community as a place to live and thinking that they may not want to live here if there's no public elementary school option. The school district says declining enrollment and aging buildings is forcing them to do something. The district's proposed facilities master plan has been in the works now for two years. This is the third plan, and the district says the community has been involved every step of the way. So why close the only elementary school in University Heights? So it's primarily where the kids are located, condition of building, uh, the cost to renovate, that particular building. So all of those are factors. The plan would save the district $3.5 million a year. But the price of not having an elementary school in University Heights, the mayor says, is too high. That's why she has organized a meeting tonight, and she is urging University Heights residents to get involved and call school board members now, she says, before it is too late.